Hi, it's Marieta and welcome to today's video where I'm going to talk about the importance of failure if you are an entrepreneur, immigrant entrepreneur or someone who wants to immigrate to the United States to start a business. So let's do this. First of all, I want you to understand that failure is inevitable. So if you're going to build a business in the US as a foreign immigrant entrepreneur, you are going to experience failure. The concept of failure is oftentimes associated with something negative. Uh, in other words, fail, failing means that you are a loser or failing means that you didn't accomplish what you wanted to accomplish and oftentimes people feel very guilty about it or maybe other people are laughing at you and in fact in the US culture failure is embraced okay now I do understand that if you are coming from a place for example I'm originally from Slovakia where if you fail you know people look at you like uh, I told you so you know what I mean and people are actually afraid to even try because they don't want to fail they think that failing is something so bad that they have this huge fear and because they have a fear of failure they don't even start now let me tell you the truth the truth is that if you don't even start if you don't even try you are actually a failure so people who laugh at you or people who doubt that you will be successful those naysayers those people who never actually gave up uh, who never actually uh, get up and never actually do something people who never pursue their dreams are actually failures those are the losers you are not a loser just because you try something and didn't and it didn't work out the way you expected okay because let me tell you something else if you keep going at some point you will succeed and at that point when you look back all the failures you have experienced the failures because in my opinion there is no such a thing as failure if you actually keep going and you don't give up and you still try and try and try until you succeed it's the journey itself that is very important and through this journey you are becoming your better self you are becoming the stronger person you are becoming the better person you are becoming the person who is able to run a successful business and is able to live the American dream and only these people deserve it okay if you quit in the middle and you don't succeed then you are obviously a failure but as long as you keep going even though you experience a challenge after challenge after challenge after challenge you are not a failure just because it didn't work out at the first place or maybe a second you are not a failure so I want you to understand this concept of failure and here is why you know the number one reason people don't even pursue their American dream is because they are afraid and they are afraid of two things number one is the fear of failure so if you are afraid because you might fail I want you to ask yourself why am I so afraid of this failure what is it gonna what is it gonna mean to me or how is that gonna impact me if I don't succeed at the first place and write it down answer these questions because you're going to realize that there is no such a thing as fear of failure as long as you keep going as long as you don't give up you will succeed okay the another fear most people have is the fear of success you know this is this is kind of paradox but it's very true because you know for some making the leap and I call it quantum leap because obviously 
you know, coming from a small place, small town, and suddenly living in a big city in the U.S., running a successful business, you know, living in total, total different lifestyle. That is a big quantum leap. I don't know what the quantum leap is for you, the big shift you are trying to accomplish, but trust me, you're going to have a different lifestyle. And if the more successful you are, the more uh, your lifestyle will change. And that can be scary. That can be very, very scary thing for some because um, what it means actually is that you might lose some people in your life. Some people will not necessarily understand you anymore and some people uh, you will not want to hang out anymore. So you will need to learn how to let go things, people, etc. And that can be scary, right? Um, sometimes when we have big dreams, our family members are afraid because they subconsciously feel that if you accomplish that big dream, you are showing them how small they are, how small they actually play. And that can be a scary thing because that might mean that your relationship with your closest ones will be disrupted, maybe for some time, maybe forever, hopefully not. But these are things that you know you should be aware of because these are the things that will try to stop you and i know that from my own experience um, because the journey of of um, you know immigrating to different countries succeeding and failing etc sometimes it's painful but at the same time it's rewarding and so you have to decide within you is this really what i want this american dream why do i want it and then get the clarity as well as be aware of your fears, right? Because once you become aware of them, you can eliminate them and you can take the next step, the actual practical steps, how you move forward. Meaning like you're going to validate the business idea, you're going to incorporate your business, you're going to start a business, you're going to apply for the visa, you're going to arrive to the US, etc. So I hope this video helps. Let me know what you guys think. And also stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to talk about how you can actually start small with E2 Visa and how you bring uh, your team members to the US and how you actually build a team if you don't have one. So stay tuned for that. Have a great day.